Hello everyone, welcome to exam type questions. Now, I decided to record this uh, video because I am trying to help learners so that they know what to expect in an exam, number one. Secondly, I want them to see the questioning technique, how examiners usually um, ask questions. I also want you to pay attention on how to answer the questions. And lastly, look at the mark allocation. It is very important before you answer the question to look at the uh, marks that are allocated so that you know uh, how far you can go in terms of answering that particular uh, question. Now, the first question is asking you to explain the link between specialization and uh, division of labor. Division of labor entails splitting duties into several smaller elements and allocating suitable uh, units of labor or people to those duties. How many people are going to be working at a particular job? and you get two marks for that. This allows the staff to concentrate on the fields of work for, uh, and so they are particularly well suited. You get two marks. For. When an employee focuses solely on a um, single job role, that is you are focusing on a specific type of a task, this is known as labor specialization. So you can see that there is a link between specialization and division of uh, labor. Specialization occurs when a business concentrates only on a specific job. For example, St. Christopher's Private School specializes in providing a service that is education. So you can get two marks for explaining, then you get one mark for um, giving an example. In an organization that specializes on uh, something, for example, a school, the school is specializing on providing education. There is division of labor because there are teachers who are teaching a specific subject, there are cleaners there, there is admin, and so on. So there is a division of labor as well as specialization. So this is the link between specialization and division of labor. Okay, we move on to the next question. Explain the importance of injections to the South African economy. Injections stimulates economic growth by increasing investment in the country. We all know that injection is money that is put into the economy. It is the inflow of money into the economy. So when that happens, when the money is put in the economy, what happens is it is going to stimulate economic growth in the sense that um, goods and services are being paid for when you invest. Injections help by increasing aggregate demand. When money is put into the economy, it's actually paying for uh, the goods and services. So the demand of goods and services are, uh, increases. For example, in government spending, uh, currently South African government is um, upgrading the N2 road, just an example. There are so many things that the government is doing. Okay, so just decided to use uh, the, uh, the upgrading of the N2 road. So when the government is uh, spending its money on that road. Remember, there, is, there are people who are working who are being paid for, number one, 
that is what we are talking about increasing uh, employment people have been hired to do that specific job right secondly increase in um, in aggregate uh, demand what we mean now here is you know for example that when you are upgrading a road there are some crash stones that are needed there there is cement all those things are being paid for the, all those things are demanded they are bought from the market the demand for cement is um, increasing so i just used uh, this one example but we know that there are so many things that they use there uh, when they are upgrading the road so all those things that they are using to upgrade the road are actually demanded they are being purchased in the market and when they are purchasing them they are actually increasing its demand production or productivity also increases this marks the end of the lesson thank you for watching